Question number two, this is from Kevin Lionel who says, are you forgiving? Are you forgiven or held accountable for the sins you're not aware of and don't repent of? For example, gluttony, laziness, or even getting mad at someone and later forgetting about it. Um, good question. So I believe that as a Christian, your forgiveness depends not upon individual repentance of individual sins, but rather a general repentant attitude towards sin and faith in Christ. And, and that, that is a general attitude that's very important and key for us as Christians. Jesus went out and he says, repent and believe, right? The disciples go out, they say, repent and believe. So yeah, have your attitude towards sin and your attitude towards God change and put your trust in Jesus Christ. But I'm not suggesting that each individual sin must be repented of as they are forgiven individually. Uh, that's a different situation because now you have a, a salvation area where you say, oh, I'm forgiven in pieces. Like God forgives me for the sins I've repented of, but then there's the ones over here that I haven't, maybe I'm not aware of, right? Like maybe I'm rude to my spouse and I'm so used to it. I don't even notice I'm doing it. And that, that happens a lot actually. Uh, it happens all the time in marriages, but are we to say that person is unforgiven for those sins, which means that they stand before God condemned. They're not saved now. I don't think we get saved in pieces like that. I think you have salvation or you don't. You, you're in Christ. And if you're in Christ, your sins are covered, right? Because you're positionally in Christ. And so you have to kind of think of it not as which of my sins are forgiven, but the question is, am I in Christ or am I not in Christ? That, that hopefully answers the question. Yes, I have issues still. Some I'm not even aware of. That doesn't mean I'm not a Christian. Yes, I have sins I still commit. Some I am aware of and some I haven't repented of. Does that mean you're not a Christian? Well, no, because I don't think repentance is meant to be micromanaged and applied to each individual little tiny thing. I think it's meant to be a general attitude. That's how I understand it when, you, when it talks about general re repentance, uh, turning, changing your attitude from sin to God. So I, I hope that that helps. Uh, it, I recommend reading Ephesians chapter one, two, and three to read what it talks about, how they're in Christ what it means to be in Christ. The key phrase there is in him, in, I in, <laughs> that I'm, I'm in Christ. That's a positional term. Ephesians chapters one through three, Kevin, I recommend you check that out. Read it nice and slow. Think about what, what it means to be in Christ and recognize that um, he then talks to the same people in Ephesus about putting off sin, about putting off other issues, but he doesn't do it in order for them to be in Christ, to be forgiven individually for individual sins. They do it because they're living from their position in Christ, right? This is who you are. Now put on that more. I hope that answers your questions.